called Brittany here and this is my first voice over. Uh, this is going to be a quick foundation tutorial, uh, pretty much the technique that I use in prepping. First thing I'm doing is toning my skin with my L'Oreal toner. Since I wear makeup every day for work or typically four to five days a week, I had to be more conscious of my skincare. Um, after my tone, I apply my serum. This is just a L'Oreal serum. It's an evening serum, but I like it because it evens the texture of my skin. We'll see about the uh, complexion, <laughs> but I like it because it makes my skin really smooth and I put it underneath my moisturizer. Next, I use my moisturizer by Aveeno. Either I use this one, which has SPF in it, or I use a salicylic acid uh, moisturizer by Aveeno as well. Kind of keeps my breakouts uh, under control. But when I don't have any breakouts, I just use this one. And I like that it has SPF as well. Next, I'm going to use just a little eye gel. I usually use like an eye cream or an eye gel if I feel really dry. On top of that, I use my Labosse Primer by Lancome. It's one of my favorite primers, as well as the Laura Geller Tinted Face Packle that I've been using for the past like three years. So yeah. Next, I'm going to go ahead and apply my foundation, which I'm going to be using the Maybelline Stay Super Stay uh, Liquid in Cocoa. And I haven't used this in a while, but today I just felt like using it, and today I ended up making a video, so yeah. Uh, but I have been using the CoverGirl 3-in-1 in Soft Sable. It's about the same color. Um, so yeah. I'm using a Sonia Kashuk uh, powder brush to kind of buff and blend that into my skin. And as you can see, I'm just making sure the coverage is good because I'm going to have this on all day uh, late up until late tonight. And next what I'm going to do is go ahead and do my cream contour. I'm using my Black Opal foundation palette, of which I did make. A lot of people ask where I got it. I just bought the, the sticks and put it into this little empty palette. And I love it. I use it in my kit and I love the foundation as well. So I'm just going to use that as a cream contour before I set anything. So I went ahead and did my contour. Contour my nose, contour my cheeks, contour my jawline. A little bit in the forehead. Next I'm going to go ahead and use my Ruby Kisses 3 for face creator. I've been using this forever. It's my holy grail concealer. And the color I'm using is level 11. And I'm just using a nice e.l.f. blending brush, concealer brush that I got uh, recently. I just highlight under my eyes, my nose, my cupid's bow, uh, the center of my chin, and the center of my forehead. And just blend that out. Okay, and I really like this foundation, uh, well not this foundation, this concealer brush. It does a really good job of blending. Okay, next I'm going to go ahead and set that with my e.l.f. Uh, loose, well not loose, um, my e.l.f. setting powder. And I'm using a Sonia Kashuk, like, dome foundation brush. I don't use this for foundation, I use it for setting because it's really dense. And it kind of acts as a sponge in a way, but it's not a sponge because <laughs> I can wash it. Uh, so I went ahead and set that. Now I'm adding a contour. I'm using my Rich Mahogany um, Black Radiance Face Foundation Powder. It's really cheap, and it's a foundation powder. Uh, I actually just ran out today, but I like it because it's a good contour color for my skin tone. And now I'm going to go ahead and do my nose, did my cheeks, and I did my forehead, I believe. But I know I'm going to reinforce my forehead later on in the video. So that's what that is. Then I went to my La Femme blush palette. Uh, I forgot the name of this blush, but I applied it with a stippling brush. I filled in my eyebrows on camera, but it was out of focus, so I just showed you guys how I clean them up. <laughs> my eyebrows are pretty thick anyway, so you really didn't miss much. But I'm using my dual ended brush uh, that I use for my eyebrows. I actually absolutely love that brush been using it for a while because it has the spoolie on one end and it has the brush on the other and I just kind of clean them up and then blend it out with my concealer brush that I use to do my highlight concealer and I go ahead and set that with a little bit of a powder and that's my Sigma E40 brush that I've had for years and then that's me contouring well making sure that everything's kind of contained with the contour a little face powder by Lancome and all set 
hope this video was helpful everyone i kind of mentioned everything as i went along if you have any specific questions please don't hesitate to ask i will get to you as soon as i can the best place to ask me stuff uh re related to the video is on my you know on the video but if you have any other questions just hit me up on instagram or facebook or twitter love you guys Bye bye